Hi, and thanks so much for joining me today. We are talking all about this product. It's by Hourglass. It's their Caution Mascara, which was recently released. And I just wanted to give you a little bit of information about it. If you wanna to go to the try and you can click on the timestamp right here. And I'll show you without primer and with primer and you can see the difference. I use primer every day, so I thought I'd just give it a go and see what the difference was. I've seen many websites that claim 400% volume in the first swipe of application. So that's a pretty big claim. It also says that it's an all-in-one mascara that delivers endless length, intense volume, sky-high lift for extreme dramatic lashes. I've not curled my lashes at all. Whatever curl you see is because of the mascara. The combination of innovative 4D amplifier brush with a continuously buildable formula creates lashes that defy the boundaries of traditional mascaras. So game-changing mascara. It says a 4D amplifier brush combines two brushes in one to deliver volume, length, lift, and definition for extreme lashes. Saturates lashes from root to tip for the most volume in a single stroke. Perfectly coats the bottom lashes without smudging onto the lower lash line. Tapered end reaches even the smallest lashes in the corners of the eyes. Buildable, smooth, ultra black formula creates dramatic but weightless lashes that don't smudge or flake. Of course, I had to give it a try. I love Hourglass, so if you'd like to see the application, hear my thoughts, please. Keep watching. I have really minimal eye makeup on just so you can see the contrast with the lashes and a little bit of highlighter on the lids. I'll apply this directly to my eyelashes, no primer, and then we can see the difference between the two eyes. Buildup is really nice on this. It's very fine. And it's separating the lashes as it goes. Sometimes mascara can kind of clump lashes together, but this is allowing each eyelash to get coated individually. I'm noticing the end of this brush is really nice. There are still bristles on the end and I can grab these smaller lashes that are closer to my nose easily without getting mascara on my face which sometimes happens. Okay, so that is one coat. So the claim, again, is 400% volume after one coat. I'm gonna add another coat and see how it goes. It's supposed to be really buildable and not clumpy as you go along, so let's add another coat. So far, I like this brush. It's more of a bristle. I typically like more of a plasticky brush because Plastic brushes tend to keep my lashes more separated. Yes, yeah, so you get more fluttery lashes with this mascara. It's different than what I would normally go for, but for what... So what I'm noticing with this particular mascara is that I'm getting a very fluttery look, which is not typically what I go for, but in this case I like it because when things go fluttery on me, if I add more layers then it goes spidery, which I really don't like. But this one is not doing anything spidery at all. It just looks really natural and so far I like it. I'm going to add one more coat and see how it goes and then we'll go to the bottom lashes. Let's do the bottom lashes. I know you can do them like this, but typically when I go like this, it leaves too much product. Although with the bristles going all the way to the end on this brush, it's actually possible to do this without getting too clumpy. Sometimes I'll just get chunks of mascara on my bottom lashes, which is why typically I will not use a traditional mascara on the bottom. I usually like a bottom lash mascara, but in this case, the results are looking very similar. Similar to when I use a separate bottom lash mascara. There we are, mascara versus no mascara. I'm gonna go in with the Dior Show Maximizer 3D Lash Primer because I do this every day. I like to condition my lashes and then also just put on a nice base for mascara. So I'm going to just add a little bit and then let it dry. It's been about a minute, so I'm going to go in with the mascara now. There's one coat with primer. Let's go in with another coat. Actually, I think I'm liking how this is performing better with a primer, even though our last didn't create that primer. It seems to be going on a little bit smoother. Okay, and that is the same number of coats, so three on each side now. So it looks like there's a very slight difference in the mirror here, so I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it went on much smoother. The experience for me was different. It went on much smoother with the primer, although it's still nice without primer, but I think I'll just use primer anyway, because like I said, I do that daily, and I like the look. I've been looking for something a little bit more natural for the summer, and I think this does it if you go in with primer in one coat, I think that's more than enough. I just kind of wanted to see how it would build up, and it builds up really, really beautifully. So I'm not surprised that Hourglass, again, came out with another product that is exceptional. They usually only put out things that will perform really well. There have been a couple things in the past where I didn't really 
loved the product or didn't work for me, but in most cases, Hourglass products are really impressive. So if you're looking for a fluttery lash and you wanted to give this one a try, I think it's definitely worth your while. I'm gonna see how this wears in the next few hours or so to see if there's any smudging or flaking. So I'll leave that in the description box below to let you know how it performed, but it just went on really beautifully. Like I said, I would use it with a primer. This is again the Dior Show Maximizer 3D Primer. It just conditions your lashes anyway, so it's really great for your lashes and then puts down a nice base. And it tended to go on a little bit more smoothly with it. So if you wanted to give that a try with it, I would recommend that too. So if you learned something from this video, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.